Hello Lolos, welcome back to my channel guys. Today is another video and today we have baby Nigel on the changing table. Yas. Okay guys, you know the drill. If you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Share, 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 like, comment, all that great jazz. Um, also, if you're not a part of the Chatterbox, make sure you click the link in the description bar. Trust me, it's a fun place to be. Um, you do have to be at least 18 years old because it is definitely for grown-ups. And you do have to pay $1.99 per month so I can get my fries. You guys don't want me to starve, do you? Probably so, but that's okay. I want my fries. Okay. Um, also guys, follow me on Instagram. If you are not, my name is still the same, Miss Serenity Smith on Instagram. If you guys cannot join my regular, my Facebook page, my Dolly page, then you can check out my Facebook group, which is, <laughs> I always forget the name. Okay, it's Miss Serenity Doll and Chat Club, I believe. All right, I will try to eventually put the link in all my videos for that group so that you can join um and it's just a fun place very diverse um you share all your your dolls uh, rather they're reborn silicones um ashton drake middleton bjds all that great jazz only thing i do not allow in our group is demonic type uh babies um fairies and all that stuff fairies flurries what's flurries okay those are welcome i just don't like the gory yeah no i i i, I respect the art i've seen some like whoa that's crazy real like you did that to us but not in my group all right so um anyway guys with that being said let's get the baby dress and let's talk about my new direction for reborns. Reborn, pregnant, re reborn, pregnant. You see my baby bouncing. You see my baby bouncing. I'm reborn, pregnant. Re <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still. I still got a little bit of crunk juice from last night. Um, chatterbox, uh, hangout. We had a good time. It was a little off the hizzy. Is that a word? Okay. It was. It was. It was crazy. Um. We had fun, his laughs, you know, crazy stuff that we do. Oh my gosh, Nigel, oh, I just love you. I am trying so hard not to have to sell any of my babies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, let me tell you guys, listen, when I tell you, because I put myself first and I believe that I'm as good as anybody as a person, <laughs> as an artist, I can not 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 say the same but i am growing but when i tell you that the paintwork on these babies are amazing when i tell you it's nothing like claritella painting um however i have collected uh silicone babies from other artists and their painting and it's really really nice but i mean the fine details is something that she has on total lock meaning she has that mastered that to per perfection and i really really love it it's my style it's my cup of tea so um now for me i my paint style is totally different um of course because i'm learning and i don't i can't i can't achieve all these details as of yet but anyway i'm just telling you because i got him on the table so i always have to talk about the baby on the table a little bit but for those that may not know, he is Willow Awake and by Claritella, he is prototype number three of his edition. Um, Noah is number two of his edition, two different editions. It's a Willow Asleep and a Willow Awake. Um, I don't know what's going on with the last few Willows. Like, I know it was like maybe like six more blanks left, but I haven't heard any talk about them um so i don't know maybe she's too busy 
I don't know. But with uh everything that's going on in the community, the pandemic and all that stuff, it you know, a lot of it's affecting a lot of families and artists are real people, they have real families, they have real lives, you know, and also artists are very emotional creatures. And so I don't know. But anyway, I hope all is going well. But I just I was just thinking about it. I was like all of a sudden I'm like, you know what? We haven't seen them yet. So anyway, um I think it's addition the blanks are gonna be of thirty. But that's not why I came on. I came on to get him changed, but I also came on to uh, just say that I have really been enjoying my reborns. Let me show you guys his little back. He's the same body as the Willow Asleep. Almost pretty much the same face, but there are some, some differences. Right? Pooka look. He has the cutest little... My mom, I mean, he has so many details of bruises and maudlin and da 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 it's, it's crazy. Because when, when I get like light babies or pretty much Caucasian babies, I like the extra, extra detail. Um, my AA babies, I don't really have to have so much maudlin sometimes. In fact, I don't like it as much as I do all my Caucasian babies or light, light biracial. And he's a very light biracial. Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, I've been really into my Reborns. But I'm telling you, I always have to have me a silicone baby in my collection if I can help it. Um, they are a total different medium. Total different fun. Um, it's, you know, I if, I if it was up to me, I would have full body girl, full body boy, asleep and awake. And I would have me a partial... Um, silicone and then my reborns of all different sizes from newborn i really don't have to have a toddler but it is nice to have at least a toddler even if i don't really interact with it but as much i do th like to have you know different sizes in my collection because it, it keeps me from getting bored like you know some days i feel like i want to dress up a baby and then you got these little tiny little tots that can't fit really much of nothing and then you know some days you just want to hold a baby and you don't want to hold this big gigantic fluffy you know six month old baby um so you know that's the beauty of the reborns that I love is it's so much to choose from so many options and so many like accessories and adjustments that you can make like you know, from even from the like the cloth bodies, you can do a, you know, a caramel color doe suede body. You can do a Caucasian doe suede body. You can do a light ethnic body, a African American dark chocolate body. And you got all the different eyes, but you can do that with the silicone the eyes and the hair and all that stuff. But it's just. So many different faces. I mean, you basically can find a face to match every family member that you have in <laughs> Reborns. So it's a lot of options. Um, and then, of course, the prices are definitely more affordable. Oh, that's why I didn't really use this that much. It's missing a button. Oh, well, I got it from a thrift store a long time ago, but we're going to still put it on him. Um, just get him in some summer stuff because Noah got on his summer jumper. So I'm getting him. I'm going around the room. Phoebe's been changed, but I didn't do it on camera. But I'll share pictures, of course, as always, on Instagram of that little girl. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the, the beauty of the Reborns. And a lot of people... I the what I learned is a lot of people when they see the silicone, they tend to want the silicone over reborns, but they don't understand the huge difference in the price tags of the two. And I think you know if you want to be a part of the uh, hobby and you want like a realistic doll and you want something really nice, I think that sometimes even I mean if you can't afford the silicone. 
um, the Reborns are just as nice. And I know a lot of people will be like, oh, they feel so, you know, da-da-da-da-da. And, and that's true. The, the silicone babies do feel, um, depending on how they're poured and how they're sculpted and stuff like that. Because there's a lot of variables going to that as well. They can feel just as non-realistic as a Reborn. But Reborns, to me, if you weight them properly, if you really get their weight nice, man, they are they are just a dream to hold, too. Like, they feel super real. Their head will fall like a real baby. Like, there's so much that you can do with your Reborns as well as your silicone babies. So, um, I just think that we get so caught up in the hype. And, of course, you know, a lot of times, especially as influencers, you you know you're like whatever i got that's the it right now like girl what don't worry about girl don't worry about that over there look at this what i got over here this is this is the business right here you know type thing but it's so much like so many options out in the community and in this industry that you can explore and enjoy and you know jumping in the, on the fun and definitely, if your budget is on the very lower scale, as far as dollar figure, um, it takes a lot more time to really find a nice baby in that budget. And I, I, I say that because I have found babies that's prototype quality and paid like under $1,000 for it in reborns. Um, and... I mean, it might have had a flaw here or there or whatever, but if you look around, you know, especially like people get desperate and people like me that like to buy the next best thing sometime. Well, I used to I still do sometime. I don't lie. But, um, you, you catch us vulnerable and we really, really want to just sell the baby. And it's like, come on, you know, it's like. I bought a doll for eleven hundred dollars, and I just really want to sell the doll. I like, I really want the space. I just really want to sell the doll. It's a beautiful doll, very well done. I mean, the paint work is amazing, better than most artists that I've seen work for Caucasian babies. But I'm not asking what I paid for it. I'm asking like eight hundred and fifty dollars. So like, you can really like cut costs, second market, you know sometime or you know sometime and every now and then i don't know why but sometimes artists even do specials like if they're really trying to get to their next edition um some if the doll's not selling well they do it but also if they're just trying to get to the next edition like you know i just want to get all these out so i can go on to my next project and they'll be like okay all these babies are being sold for so and so so price and the problem, I think, the big stigma, and this is important, guys, this is important. A lot of people think if there's not a huge price tag on the doll, then there's something wrong with it, or it's not as good as the doll that costs way more. And that can be so far from the truth, because I've seen dolls that cost thousands and thousands of dollars that the quality and the um, realism in the doll was no more than a $400 doll. So... You know, you can't really base quality off a of price. You know, people like to say, oh, I got a high end. I I buy only high end, this, that, and other. But what, what are you using as a high end identifier? Because it's not always about price. Um, also, um, like one of my commenters mentioned the other day, um, Miss Linda pointed out, which, you know, is very true, and we all know this to be true, is that sometimes we often, where is my brush, Lord? Um, some, sometimes we often buy based off of name, popularity, that type of thing, and it's like, okay, um, so we overlook some of the artists that might not have such a big name may not be out there as much but is really doing a fabulous job and make some beautiful you know quality dolls or you know and depends on what you're looking for maybe the sculpting is not 
all the way there but you really just want to experience the full body silicone with you know not having to put on a cloth or um or you want to reborn that's nicely rooted that's you know passable type thing you may not be all into the fancy it gotta be so hyper real and detailed and stuff like that you you may catch some of those for a lot more dang look at his little ears i didn't even realize that's like how that sculpted so realistic like it's parts man that's cool i thought that was attached but i was like Oh, it's not but anyway um you may catch you know artists that's just coming up you know that have that that quality there but nobody really knows who they are yet so their prices is not went sky high um i've seen artists where they came out and their dolls was like 1500 2000 3000 and collectors made a big hype about it and next thing you know, boom, they're trying to sell their dolls for $6,000. Although the quality or nothing changed about the doll or their work, they haven't put anything extra in it. Their product base haven't changed. Their, you know, the supplies haven't went up. Only thing went up is their popularity. So their price went up. So, you know, it's like you really have to look at those things and not just look at price when you're shopping or name brand. Um, Sometimes it's not the artist that everybody has on their channel. It's artists that people are overlooking or sculpts that people are overlooking. Um, however, that is not to say that some people have a very well-known, know well-earned, I should say, name and brand. Um, and I am the first to say, and y'all can be mad at me for saying it, but Claire Teller is just not a name brand. She, Her work speaks for itself. Her work has, I've seen her dolls be around for seven eight nine years and still look as good as when she first sold it to the first owner and it's went through cats and puppies and children and you know all types of stuff hamsters crawling all over it and all that stuff um from different collectors and it still look good paint still there it's not peeling not this and other i mean of course there are going to be some that's raggedy but the quality is there and that's why i me my cheap behind feel good about when I invest in that name brand because that name brand is not just a brand, it's quality. Um, it's real artist work. It's the the uh, it's a master artist piece of art. Like it's mas it's just masterfully made. Can I make up some words here? It's Masto Fabolisto. <laughs> Come on, say it. It's a Masto Fabolisto. Master Fabolisto, Master Fabolisto. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Anyway, so um, <laughs> mm, uh, uh, okay. Um, but seriously, yeah. So don't get caught up. My whole point is don't get caught up on what's popular. Find what grabs your eye. Look what's in your price range. If you have a lower price range, don't give up and just buy anything. Look within your budget of the best that you can find. Look for specials. Look for this. Look, I mean, sometimes people like, you know, some people will say, oh, I'm going to offer this baby ball and it's less, you know. And then you get it and, you know, you love hair. Like, I love hair on my babies. I want me some hair. Baby got to have edges. But you got to, like, <clears throat> you might be like, okay, but the painting on this baby and the sculpt is right. I'm going to get this baby. And when I get enough money or whatever, I'm going to send it out to a rooter. You know, sometimes the artist will say, hey, I'm not rooting it, but I can recommend this rooter, that rooter, that rooter. When you get time, then you you go ahead and you send your baby off the rooter. Now, you, now you've got yourself the perfect baby that you wanted, but within your time frame, within your budget. Like, it makes no sense for you to be starving and, you know, eating cat food, trying to survive to buy a doll you know what I mean because you're not going to enjoy it every time as much as you would as you got it when you could just really afford it and enjoy it because you're going to be looking at it like is this really worth this cat food you know type thing or dog food whichever your choice is because you know some of y'all don't mind y'all eat it anyway but I'm just saying it's just an example lord have mercy because some of y'all be like I eat cat food and there's nothing wrong with that why would she say that Okay, so anyway, um, but yeah, just 
you know, work within your means. Now, if you are close to getting your dream baby and it's an expensive baby, listen, I'm going to tell you firsthand, it is so worth just hanging on. Hold on to your struggle. I'm telling you, just hold on. And what you need to do is if you got anything in your house, that a doll that you don't play with, I don't care if it's nothing worth for $200, go ahead and sell that $200 doll because, baby, you ain't playing with it anyway. You ain't dressing it no more. You don't even, when you walk past it, you don't even want to look at it. Um, it's just collecting dust. Go on, get rid of that. Save up your money and get that baby. If you, if you at $9,000 and that baby costs you cost twelve. dollars eleven thousand dollars and you just need two more grand just hold on to it baby hold still because once you start chopping off and buying this little baby that you settling for oh i just i'm i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one it's it's almost like what i want it's kind of like what i want now you done knocked yourself all the way back down you still got a baby that you really not totally happy with when you could have just waited until you got the real thing. And a lot of people will say to you know you'll see a lot of channels and that's a whole nother video for a whole nother topic and i'm gonna stop right here but i'm gonna say this a lot of people will tell you what is not worth spending money for i'm telling you right now and i've seen collectors do it to me and say like you know i mentioned in the chat about i would never how could she sleep at night etc etc and now they're doing the same thing and i'm trying to figure out can you not answer that question how i was sleeping at night because now you're doing the same thing but I also want, I didn't say that in the chat about last night though. <laughs> Child, you know how we be hypocrites. Um, I once used to say that too. I'm not paying no more than, you know, $1,500 on a silicone baby. I mean, it's just not, I don't see what the big deal is. That was before I ever collected one. I had all these opinions because I didn't know what it was and what the hype was. And then I was like, it can't be no, a clear tell law can't be no better than any other silicone baby. And even when I was seeing them on videos, I was like, man, I can get another baby. It'll be just the same. But until I actually got that baby in my collection, it was like, oh, 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 okay, I'm going to eat them words. And then it was like, now I don't have a price point per se. I know what my budget is and what I can afford, but I don't say what I won't spend on a doll anymore because it just depends if I got it. You know what that song say? It ain't. If you got it, okay. That's, you know, okay. I don't know how to say it like the kids say it. But anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, anyway, guys. I know this has been a long video. I hope you stayed to the end. If you stayed to the end, say Rough Riders in the comment section. And if you don't know how to spell it, Google it. Rough Riders. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.